the knife is basically finished all I have to do is add some product it is in its raw form it's got absolutely nothing on it I've cleaned the spine I've cleaned the belly and I've cleaned the butt just the metal I haven't touched the wood with anything I want to go with the old uh, tried and tested boiled linseed oil um, that should uh, get into the timber a bit more it just gives it a have a look at that just brings out the pattern a bit more I think whereas this one um, uh, no I don't really think that's that's what I want so I'm not gonna use that with the linseed oil I think it uh, brings out the pattern a little bit better on the timber I need to make a lanyard for it and I've chosen the desert camo um, five uh, 550 paracord that I've got will probably be something about the same length as this one just uh, six or seven knots I just wanted to share with you guys the finished knife I had it professionally sharpened let's watch this how sharp is this thing look at this That is sharp, man. That thing is absolutely razor sharp. Uh, watch the hairs on my arm. Ready? Just absolutely shaving sharp. Look at that. I'm not a hairy bastard, but look at look at the way it takes hairs off my arm. Just absolutely razor sharp, man. Um, the guy did an amazing job. Just absolutely takes the hairs off your off your arm. Look at that. That that is incredibly sharp. A bit of um, a bit of uh, linseed oil, and you'll see that pattern come up. Absolutely love this Mali timber hardwood, Australian hardwood, absolutely perfect for knife scales. It um, it's a pleasure to work with. It looks it looks great. The texture is sensational. It, it uh, sands really well. Okay, here we go, linseed oil. Look at that, guys. Look at that grain just jump at you. Americans, uh, linseed oil protects protects the, the timber and uh, it brings out the pattern obviously it brings out the color but uh, most importantly it protects being an oil it, it repels uh, moisture and, and water look at that guys is that gorgeous or what well, this is just the first coat and look at it Absolutely gorgeous timber. I'll give it um, four or five coats before I pack it away. Okay, look at that pattern come up, guys. The texture on that timber is absolutely gorgeous. Just a bit of linseed oil. This, um, I don't think this video is going to do it justice, guys. See, I'll try to get some light onto here.
look at that guys look at that color and that texture on that timber absolutely sensational look at that is that gorgeous or what Almost like a leopard pattern on it. Look at that. Is that gorgeous or what? Absolutely fantastic. I'm so happy with it. It's beautiful timber. Okay, now to do the lanyard. Way between the two, so you end up with two two ends and two two parts here so you grab the one from this side comes around here goes behind this one and goes through the middle okay so it ends up here you grab the, the front okay that one stays out of the way this one comes around the back here goes underneath and through the middle okay through the middle and through okay now the other side the other side this other end comes around the back of this one behind it and then through the middle next to the other one okay now that gives you your basic shape okay so that there is just one of these but not tightened so all we gotta do is take out the slack so it ends up as close to the back of the knife as possible like this one here like that okay Hope you're getting all of these guys. Okay. Now the next one. Again, we go that way, stick this end through, the long bit comes around the back, underneath the other one, underneath the other one and then through there, through that loop. We end up with a pattern like that, like, a, like the ABC symbol, channel 2 in Sydney. Okay, and then again now. We grab this, we end up with the two legs and two ends. So the left the left end 
comes around behind the right leg and then in through the middle okay don't tighten it just yet the other side the other top comes around the back of the other leg of the left leg through at the back and then through the middle and then and then you can just start taking out the slack once you've done these sort of lanyards, these lanyard knots a few times it gets easier and easier every time it's just it's a bit finicky because you gotta take your time, you can't rush it otherwise one side might be tighter than the other and it just won't look good there we go see that's that's right next to the other the gap in between is not that big so we'll give it a nice tighten After a while, you get bloody sores in here, so I might put my gloves on later. Let's end it up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll leave it at eight. Cut it about there. Okay, that's it. More lead seed.
Wow. Absolutely bloody gorgeous. This linseed oil really does bring the grain out, guys. Look at the knife. Oh. Does that look nice or what? That looks great. Uh, 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 not touching, so buddy. you put this on your belt and then you put a knife in. Yeah. Be careful, it's very sharp. This thing is criminal. It's so sharp it's not funny. Look at that. How nice is that grain? Mm. It's really nice. You like it? I love it. Do you want me to Dad, make you one? I don't like it. I love it. Good girl, Pucci. Mm. Love you, darling. I'd love to have one. This thing is so sharp. The guy that sharpened it made a made a fantastic job. Look at that pattern. Looks like a like a leopard spots. Beautiful guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful timber. And there is red Mali as well. I think I'm gonna make one one for me in red Mali. That is going to be probably the most beautiful timber. Same pattern, same sort of swirly pattern, but with a reddish tinge to it. Just like a, almost like a pink. Oh, it's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be beautiful. Wow, I am so amazed with this pattern, guys. Such a nice, such a nice timber. Beautiful. Cheers and happy camping. I hope you enjoyed uh, this build, guys. Cheers.
Dad, where's the board, board for Excuse me? Excuse me, mate. I'm videoing, buddy. Sorry. 